Now what's helpful in working out these pH calculations when you're dealing with uh, pOHs is something so called the ionic product constant of water. So uh, this is uh, in equilibrium for water, but this um, the amount of hydroxide and uh, hydrogens is really quite tiny. So this number sort of outweighs it all and they've uh, basically uh, removed that uh, from the ionic pro uh, product constant of water and they've done it at 25 degrees Celsius and it works out to uh, these two concentrations uh, times together to be 1 by 10 to the minus 14. Uh, and this is uh, coming from this equation up here. And so what you'll find is if you take the um, the logs, negative logs of those, so get the pHs, this uh, because of the log rules becomes a plus. Uh, and so you can get pH plus pOH equals 14, which is extremely useful. And we're going to use that equation to get um, the pHs worked out much simpler uh, from pOHs. Um, so just a side note too, uh, which is which is quite interesting. Have a look here. It takes energy uh, to break these bonds and to form uh, hydrogen, hydroxide and hydrogen ions. So you get this interesting graph. So what you see from this graph is because water is, uh, this is an endothermic process. So this is actually um, an equilibrium, but it will be pushed to this side with an increased temperature. Uh, because uh, it takes energy in to break the hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions, uh, break the water into those ions. Uh, so delta H is positive because it's an endothermic process. Um, and so what you'll see is actually when temperature increases, the hydroxide and the hydrogen ions actually increase. So that actually means, because we're just looking at pH there, the pH actually drops and vice versa. If it's too cold, uh, the pH will actually increase. Uh, but because the hydroxide and hydrogen ions are equal, it's actually neutral still. So you can't actually, pH doesn't actually tell you whether um, water is neutral or not. You have to also look at the temperature. If it's 25 degrees and the pH is seven, that's fine. But the pH could be less than seven or, or higher than seven and the solution could still be neutral. It all depends on the temperature. Okay, let's move on to an actual question. So how do we use that pOH plus pH uh, equals 14? Um, so what's the pH of this when you only know the hydroxide ion concentration? So we can get the pOH quite simple. Simply, we just uh, put a log, a negative log of the 0.02 and get 1.7. And then we can use that formula uh, that we got from the P, from the kW turned into a pKW. Um, pH plus pOH is 14. So we just sub that number in there and our pH will equal 14 minus 1.7, it's 12.3. Uh, and so you can see that's a very easy way uh, to convert between the pHs and the pOHs.